Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Cambridge IGCSC Mathematics Paper 1 of uh, Paper 1 Core. Uh, the code is 058011. This is paper from October November 2022. So in the first video we did questions 1 to 14. In this video we will cover the remaining questions. Before we start I have request you guys to subscribe to my channel and <coughs> share it with your friends so without any delay let's get started a cafe sells 330 sandwiches this is 11 by 14 of the sandwiches they make uh, work out the number of sandwiches that the cafe makes so let's say uh, let uh, the number of sandwiches that they make number of sandwiches uh, they the cafe makes is x right so this is 11 over 20 uh, so 11 over 14 of the total sandwiches that make is 330 that they sell so now you need to find out the uh, number of sandwiches that they make that means we need to find out x so from here it is 11 over 14 times x equals to 330 so x is 330 times 14 over 11 11 times 3 uh, 30 so 14 times 3 it's 42 so 420 sandwiches <coughs> that they meet sandwiches right so that's number 15 now let's move to number 16 complete the table of values for y equals to 5 over x here the first question we need to complete it the first one is here we have uh, x negative 4 and y 5 5 divided by minus 4 so this is negative 1.25 negative 1.25 Two, five. So remaining you are given here. So again this is 4. 5 over 4 will again give you 1.25 but with the positive sign. Right now on the grid draw the graph of this for the values. You see negative 1, 5 to 1, negative 5 to 1 is given here. Then there is a section here. Then 1 to 5. What does this shaded section mean? So that means we will get two parts of the graph, right? So which are not joined together. So let's start. Uh, negative 5, negative 1. Negative 5 and negative 1 is here. So this is the point here. Then we have negative 4 and negative 1.25. Negative 4 is here. Negative 1.25 will be somewhere. This is going to be half here. Negative 1.50 so half of this so this is going to be one here right so then next we have negative 2.5 and negative 2 negative 2.5 is in the middle here and negative 2 is here then negative 2 and negative 2.5 negative 2 is here and negative 2.5 in the middle here and negative 1 and negative 5 it's here so this is one part of the graph so we will join these points uh, freehand curve like this right now second part <coughs> sorry 1 and 5 1 and 5 is here then 2 and 2.5 2 2.5 2 2.5 and 2 which is here and then 4 and 1.25, 1 is here, 1.25 is here. And then 5 and 1. So again we are going to draw a freehand curve here. So just join the points. So that's it. So this will give you 4 marks drawing all these curves. And uh, draw your lines very clear and it should be, you will be ha should be having sharp pencil. It should not come like this the way that I did here. So it should be very neat and clean. 
नंबर सेवेंटीन थ्री नाइन ट्वेंटी सेवन एट्टी वन एंड डैश राइट ऑन द टर्म टू टर्म रूल फॉर दिस सीक्वेंस दैट मीन्स हाउ यू आर गेटिंग द नेक्स्ट टर्म इफ यू सी फ्रॉम हेयर वेन यू मल्टीप्लाई हेयर बाई थ्री यू गेट द नेक्स्ट टर्म मल्टीप्लाई बाई थ्री नाइन टाइम्स थ्री ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी सेवन टाइम्स थ्री एट्टी वन सो टाइम्स थ्री सो देन वेन यू मल्टीप्लाई एट्टी वन टाइम्स थ्री Three two hundred and forty-three. So we are getting two hundred and forty-three. But our question is write down term to term rule. How we are going to get? It is multiply by three. So that should be our answer. Now find the nth term of this sequence. We have another sequence here. Nth term. We have formula a n of the nth term a plus n minus one into t. Where d is the common difference. So what is the difference here? So three plus four plus four plus four. So that means d is equal to four. The difference. So first term a is first term, which is thirteen. Thirteen plus n minus one into d is four. So thirteen plus when you open the bracket, it is going to be four n minus four. So thirteen minus four. Is nine plus four n, so that means we can write down here four n plus nine is the nth term, right? Now number eighteen, we have Venn diagram question here. So this is a P set and Q set. The Venn diagram shows the elements of set epsilon, which is universal set P and Q. Complete the statement P equals two. So this set is empty. We are looking for the um, Elements of set P, which is A, B, C, and D, right? Uh, so A, B, C, and D, all the elements that include in P. Now, number of elements in P union Q. P union Q is like everything that is in here in P union Q, all this part. So we have how many are they? N N stands for number of elements. Number of elements in P union K. So they are one, two, three, four, five, and six. So number of elements are six here, right? Now number nineteen. The bearing of A from B is one hundred and thirty-seven. So uh, let's say this is our north line. So A from B. This is A from B. Is hundred and thirty-seven. Now we are looking for the bearing of B from A. So we are looking for bearing of B from A. So we are looking for this part actually. Uh, so if you extend this line, dotted line, this is hundred and thirty-seven. This is also going to be hundred and thirty-seven. So this is a straight line. So this is going to be hundred and eighty. So we are looking for hundred and eighty plus hundred and thirty-seven. Three hundred and seventeen. So our answer is going to be three hundred and seventeen, right? Now question twenty a. Write zero point zero two three two seven three in standard form. So zero point zero zero two seven three standard form. We need a number which is uh, n times ten raised to power n, and this n should be between uh, zero and between one and nine actually. This n, capital n, sorry, should be between one and nine, right? So we have here two. We are shifting this decimal here one, two, three decimal places to right. So two point seven three ten raised to power minus three. So two point seven three times ten raised to power minus three, right? So Sam has to write this answer. Calculate. Nine three thousand six hundred times four thousand five hundred and thirty-two. Give your answer in standard form to correct two three significant figures. Uh, so Sam writes this answer to his question. What two errors has Sam made? So first of all, to write in the three significant figures, that's fine. Give your answer in the standard form. This is not a standard form. First error. This is not a standard form. Right, and then the second one is uh, 
there are not that many number of zeros here give your answer in the standard form so you need to so let's see the calculation first you see 909306 times 4532 so we are getting answer here 42174 uh, 792 this is the actual answer uh, so the question give your answer in standard form and correct it to three significant figures our decimal is here so we are moving bringing it here one two three four five six and seven so this power should be 10 raised to power 7 if you write in the standard form so 42.1 so that means we can say that this is not this should not sorry this should not uh, 10 to the power 6 is not correct it should be uh, it should be 10 days to power 7 right now number 21 and uh, triangle ABC is mathematical similar to triangle E D E F these two triangles are similar find BC so this is BC here we are looking for this one so we can take the corresponding sides if the triangles are similar so that means AB over DE is equal to AB you take this side now we will take BC the same triangle side of the same triangle and then EF right so now we will substitute the value AB is 51 over DE is 6 equals to BC you are going to calculate over 4 right so then BC is going to be 51.6 then this 4 goes up here times 4 so let's see uh, 51 times 51 times 4 then divided by 6 and we got here 34 so BC is 34 centimeters question 22 you can see a right angle triangle here the diagram shows a right angle triangle show that the value of X is 15.8 correct to three significant figures now whenever we have this kind of question so we have answer here then it's easy so now you see this is a right angle triangle I can uh, make it like this here so this is angle 90 this is 48 right this perpendicular is 17.5 and this base is x so we can use here soka tua for the trigonometry soka tua so we will take this one uh, tangent because we have this adjacent this is adjacent and this is the opposite side so we can use tan of 40 8 degrees equals to opposite uh, opposite is here 17.5 over x so then that means x is equal to 17.5 over 10 48 so let's see how much is that 17.5 17.5 divided by 10 of uh, 48 which is 15.75 this is 15.8 so value of x is 15.8 centimeters right now number 23 i think yeah this is the last question of this paper uh, so let's do that uh, natalie buys four tomato plants and three pepper plants for dollar 9.35 and samir buys two tomato plants and 11 pepper points for this much uh, write down the pair of simultaneous equations and solve them to find the cost of one tomato and cost of one pepper show all your working this is five marks question so you need to show each and every working that you do so let's say first of all the number of plants let's say number of uh, let me write here uh, number of tomato plants <coughs> is X and number of pepper plants is 
y right uh, so this one is x and this one is y so four tomato plants that means 4x plus three pepper plants like 3y equals to 9.35 so this is cost sorry this is the cost of the total Num not number the cost mm, no this is the this is the cost of one tomato plant cost of one tomato plant this is cost of one pepper plant so 4x plus 3y 9.35 then we have two tomato plants 2x plus 11y equals to 16.55 then we can these are simultaneous equations then we will uh, solve this so let's multiply this by 2 to make this x coefficient same so i'm rewriting both equations 4x plus 3y equals to 9.35 and this is going to be 4x plus 22y equals to 16.55 and you multiply this is coming 33.10 now you subtract when you subtract you change the sign of the lower equations so when you subtract 4 minus 4 is gone then uh, 22 minus 3 it is 19 but we will take negative sign because this 22 is negative which is greater than 3 uh, y and then this will be again negative because this is greater when you subtract this this I am getting here 23.75 so y is going to be negative 23.75 over negative 19 so this negative and negative sign is gone uh, so 23.75 divided by 19 gives you 1.25 so 1.25 so uh, that is the cost of one pepper plant that is y uh, y was pepper plant so it is 1.25 now we can take any of these equations i'm taking the first one 4x plus 3y 0.9 uh, equals 9.35 to substitute value of y 4x plus 3 times 1.25 equals to 9.35 so 4x plus uh, this is uh, 1.25 1.25 times 3 which is 3.75 equals to 9.35 so 4x is equal to 9.35 minus 3.75 minus 9.35 it is negative 5.6 uh, sorry positive 5.6 because this is greater so divide by 4 divide by 4 so when we divide it by 4 i'm getting here 1.4 so x is 1.4 there's this is a dollar we can use uh, add zero there so it is 1.40 so that's it for this one i hope you guys understood so that was the last question so Press the like button if you like the video and share it with your friends and let me know any improvement for the video and please share your comments. I will wait for that. Thank you so much guys. God bless you. See you in the next video.